my submission to make our favorite numbers is 4,140,081. Where does this number come from? It all has to do with the generation of mazes. If you have 20 square rooms arranged in a 4x5 grid, you have to knock through 19 walls to turn that into a maze. A perfect maze will have every room reachable from every other room, and for any two rooms there is exactly one path connecting them. You cannot simply knock passageways into any selection of 19 walls and expect to have a perfect maze. There are constraints on the combination of walls that you are allowed to demolish. So how many valid mazes are there? I wrote a Python program to count them. It is not very efficient. I had no idea how long it would run for. Will it finish in time for this video to be posted within the next two weeks? One way to find out is to look up whether this question has already been answered. As it turns out, generating a perfect maze on a grid of rooms is equivalent to constructing a spanning tree on a grid of points using only horizontal and vertical edges. The number of spanning trees on a rectangular grid of nodes has an entry in the online encyclopedia of integer sequences. Some rather clever mathematicians had figured out a long time ago a closed form solution to the number of spanning trees given any size grid of points. Surprisingly, the formula uses trigonometric functions and a pi. There must be some highly advanced combinatorics happening here that is way beyond my understanding. Using this formula, I realized that a 4x5 grid of 20 points would yield 4,140,081 spanning trees. This is small enough for a Python program to fully enumerate within two weeks. In fact, it completes the count in under an hour. There is also a fascinating dual problem that mathematicians discovered back in the early 70s. Tiling a 7x9 grid of squares with the top left square removed using dominoes. Not only can I generate every perfect maze and every spanning tree, I can also construct domino tilings. Furthermore, there is a bijection relationship between mazes, spanning trees, and domino tilings. Any domino tiling of this 7x9 grid with top left square removed can be converted to a spanning tree and perfect maze. How cool is that? So, what other uses are there for my maze generating Python program? I could try a 5x5 five five and see if it will finish in the next 10 days. I could use it to generate puzzle levels for games or to create test data to feed to maze solving algorithms used in robotic navigation or perhaps for procedurally generated art. I'm thinking a desktop decoration that displays a tiling pattern that changes every few seconds and won't repeat for many days. Would this be something that you'd be interested in having on your desk?